Hello everyone and welcome to my session from zero to hero with Microsoft Sentinel. My name is uh, Uros Babic. Uh, currently I'm working uh, as a cybersecurity manager in Serbia oil company, but I also working as a Microsoft certified trainer in SEMOS education. Many thanks for the organizer who accept my se session. Actually, this is my the first session uh, uh, for Azure Back to School. Uh, but I also have uh, the second session. That is how to forensic investigate uh, uh, incident uh, in Microsoft Azure. And I'm very proud to be part of of uh, amazing speaker from the annual community event as as a best back to school this year the subject of my presentation uh, is uh, actually microsoft sentinel microsoft sentinel is a scalable cloud native security information and limit management uh, system for security orchestration, automatization and uh, response. And uh, Sentinel delivers intelligence security analytics and threat intelligence uh, actually uh, across the all enterprises, uh, uh, providing the single solution for attack detection, uh, threat visibility, uh, proactive hunting and threat response. And uh, actually, uh, you can uh, view with the Sentinel um, all across the enterprise uh, and uh, actually increasingly sophisticated attack, increasing uh, volume of alerts and uh, long resolution in the time frames. And as you can see on this slide, I can, for example, collect data across all users, uh, device, application, uh, different data sources uh, and infrastructure, both on premise and multiple clouds. And I can detect previously undetected threats and uh, minimize the false positive with the uh, source solution. Uh, extend the detection, the response, uh, and many playbooks uh, using Microsoft Sentinel analytics and unparalleled threat intelligence. And I can investigate threats with artificial intelligence, enhance suspicious activity in the scale, tapping in the uh, definitely cybersecurity work and response to incident uh, because uh, incident uh, now is very sophisticated uh, in day-to-day -day operation. We had a lot of day zero day uh, uh, operation and uh, from attacker and rapidly with actually built of orchestration and, uh, and automatization with the, with the common task. And we can uh, actually collect data across uh, all users device, different data sources uh, uh, in a summary detect uh, uncovering threats, minimize false positive I mentioned, investigate and respond to uh, different security incident. And uh, actually, this is how we understand. Uh, uh, I have a lot of on-premise. I have syslog as a standard protocol for, for different sources. And I have uh, over my UDP, TCP and TLS default port, for example, 540. And I integrated uh, via uh, syslog agent, uh, uh, actually uh, syslog daemon uh, and uh, log analytic agent uh, uh, with uh, Azure uh, Sentinel workspace. When we're talking about the data connector, Microsoft Sentinel comes with a definitely large number of, of connectors from Microsoft solution that is available out of box and provide 
uh, real-time integration, including Microsoft 365 Defender or Microsoft 365 different sources, including uh, uh, Microsoft Azure uh, Entra ID, uh, Microsoft Defender for Identity, Microsoft Defender for Cloud application, and more and more. And you can see uh, it, it can be 124 and more connector. Uh, and in addition, we have a built-in connector to the broader security ecosystem, for example, non-Microsoft solution. And you can also use the common even form format I mentioned in the previous slide, like six log or some uh, re-ST ST API to connect your, uh, for example, data sources uh, with the Microsoft Sentinel as well. And uh, we also dealing with the different workbooks. After we connected our data sources to Microsoft Sentinel, uh, I can call, uh, monitor data using uh, uh, integration, uh, Sentinel integration with the Azure monitor workloads, which provides, for example, uh, some custom workbooks. And while workbooks, are displayed differently in Microsoft Sentinel, uh, it may be useful for you to see how to create some interactive reports with the Azure Monitor board books. Uh, Microsoft Sentinel allow you to create some uh, custom board books across uh, data and also comes with some built-in board book, uh, different templates. Uh, I, I, and to allow you to quickly gain insight across actually data uh, and workbooks are intended for, for example, security operations center engineers and analyzed to all tiers to visual data. Uh, workbooks are best used for, for example, the high level uh, for Microsoft Sentinel data and require uh, no coding knowledge, for example, you cannot integrate workbooks with some uh, external data. But it is, I, I show you do, during my demo, because my plan during this, this uh, uh, presentation to, to show you demo about the whole activity regarding Sentinel. You can also use analytic to help to reduce noise and me, uh, to minimize a uh, number of uh, different alerts you have to review and investigate. Uh, Microsoft Sentinel using analytic to correlate alerts into incidents, and the incident is actually group of uh, uh, group of uh, related alerts uh, that together create some action, uh, possibly trait uh, that you can investigate and resolve and used to build correlation rule that is very important uh, to starting point uh, to build uh, your own. Sentinel also provide the machine learning option rulings to map your some network behavior and then look for anomalies across, uh, across uh, resources. Uh, this actually analytic uh, connects some dots by combining some low alerts about different entity to potential some security incident. Uh, and uh, uh, definitely you can use uh, also some root planes after I uh, have connected uh, my data sources to Microsoft Sentinel. I, uh, you will want to be notified when something suspicious occurs. And that is the reason why for example, Microsoft Sentinel provide out of box uh, or uh, uh, with some different uh, plate to uh, help you to create some detection rules. And the rules, the plates were designed by Microsoft Teams or security experts uh, or analytics uh, with the common attack vector, vector um, uh, and suspicious activity escalation chains. Uh, rule created from templated um, and after that will 
automatically search across the environment for any activity that looks suspicious. Uh, many of the plates can be customized, of course, uh, for search for activity. Uh, and definitely, uh, it helps how we understand uh, how we understand uh, how the tactic tracks with Sentinel use some out-of-box threat detection, how to automate threat response and uh, everything. The next is uh, uh, playbooks. Playbooks, uh, this is an uh, example with the Microsoft Sentinel playbooks I, and uh, how we can block IP, for example, for Palo Alto pen operation system. But I can automate my common task and, and with security orchestration with playbooks, uh, then integrated with the different uh, Azure services and existing tools. Uh, for example, if uh, use some service, no ticketing system, you can use some tools, uh, provide to use uh, uh, Azure logic application uh, to automate workloads and open ticketing service now and playbox are intended for security operation center uh, uh, for SOC engineering uh, analytic for different tier uh, to automate it and simplify task uh, including some enrichments for example including investigation uh, and remediation of course data uh, <clears throat> in questions is very, very, very important. Uh, playbooks work best with some repeatable tasks and uh, require no coding knowledge. Playbooks are not uh, suitable for ad hoc, but uh, for documenting and sharing evidence is very, very important and include actually more than 200 and, uh, connectors for service such, uh, for example, Azure, uh, function, uh, but you can use, uh, for example, the connector allows uh, to apply any custom logic in code, service now, Jira, uh, HTTP request uh, for the Microsoft Teams, for uh, Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, for example, Defender for Cloud application, and uh, etc. And uh, it is it is very very. Uh, interesting focus and yes this is a good example how we investigate with the playbooks uh, some suspicious URL uh, with the uh, uh, sentinel and possible compromise uh, URL for Palo Alto networks dot uh, com detected by some uh, provider and we have medium incidental issues uh, URL uh, and all incident description and summary of action taken on URL by Security Operations Center, what is the information about incident configuration, what is the change, uh, how, if, 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 if we have option to change uh, incident severity and everything regarding uh, the playbooks. Uh, one good example is uh, in uh, Microsoft Sentinel playbooks automatization and, uh, and orchestration flow is definitely work uh, uh, with the playbooks uh, and uh, actually th this is one of the example how we deal with the uh, uh, sentinel playbooks uh, uh, with uh, correlation and automatic and orchestration flows and of course uh, hunting is uh, very very important uh, because uh, Sentinel uh, use powerful hunting search and query tools uh, uh, based of uh, uh, Maitre framework, which enable you to proactively hunt security threats uh, across the organization data sources before alert is triggered. And after, for example, I discovered which hunt and query provides with uh, high value inside into some uh, attack, I can also create custom detection rules 
base of uh, query and surface uh, alerts to security incident responder. And you, I can use uh, different type of query. I can use uh, built-in query. Uh, in hunting dashboard, you can see on this slide, uh, provide some uh, ready-made query example with the file login attempts of the Xperia account. Uh, I can define query based on QL uh, language and uh, actually adding, uh, I can add a new query and define to a tuning uh, query to provide with the entity point uh, uh, to look new detection and fi figure out when to start some hunting for the beginners of new attack. And uh, use query before, during, and after actually compromise to take some action. For example, fail login attempt before for incident on court. I'm waiting on detection, it's not enough. I take, I take some proactive action uh, by running uh, any uh, threat hunting query related to data and I uh, actually investing into the workspace and list one of the week. And I have a result from proactive hunting, provide some early insight into events. Uh, they may confirm that it's a compromise in, in the process, in the action, and still exist. During the compromise, I can use, uh, for example, live stream to run some specific, uh, specific uh, query presenting the result, I can use live screen when I need, for example, to actively monitoring user event. Uh, uh, and after compromise on, or some incident or has occurred, may, I can sure uh, to improve coverage and insight to prevent similar incident in the future. Uh, modify existing query or create some new query to assist with the early detection based of uh, inside and of course i have gained from compromise for example uh, from your compromise or incident if uh, you have some discovered or created some hunting query that provides some hail value into some possible attack i can create some custom detection rules uh, based on the query uh, and surface inside to alerts and uh, security incident responder. Uh, I can view actually query result and select new alert, alert rule. I can create Microsoft Sentinel alert uh, with, with this option. Uh, I can use analytic rule wizard to create new rule based of my query for and actually that is an option how how i create custom analytic rule to the text threads i will show you during during my demo and of course uh, hunting uh, regarding the logs because uh, hunting dashboard enable to run all a query or selected some subnet uh, in the single selection and uh, this uh, Actually, slide describe all the query written uh, of security analytics and extra query you can actually create or modify. It. And each query provides some description uh, if uh, what it hunts for and what kind of data it runs on. And this query are grouped into the Mitra attack tactic. Uh, uh, and actually uh, icons cut, cut categorize to the type of threat uh, which initial access persistence uh, exfiltration of data uh, micro uh, attack te technique uh, uh, techniques are shown in the techniques option columns and describe some specific for example behavior identified by hunting query. I can use hunting dashboard to, to detect where to start hunting, looking with the spike or change in the result over the 24 hours period of time. Uh, Miter attack uh, tactic of techniques results some uh, result of data, result of data 
uh, in percentage. And of course, I can view uh, and investigate uh, with the investigation graph uh, later, and that is uh, that is also powerful, uh, very powerful option. Uh, and uh, of course, what is my idea to show you? Uh, that is actually uh, I talking about uh, in uh, my presentation about the Microsoft Sentinel and the data connection and workbooks analytic uh, playbooks trade hunting and actually some part of uh, incident management. But my idea to show you in uh, agenda uh, in in my demo lab how to create Microsoft Sentinel workspace. That is the first steps. How to add Microsoft Sentinel to workspace. And uh, Sentinel Training Lab is uh, in, the, in, his, in the public review. That is a very, very powerful option uh, how we uh, conducting uh, on Training Lab uh, and create in uh, Azure portal. And actually, uh, the next step, how to enable incident creation rule, how create some Sentinel custom analytic rule I mentioned during the presentation slides, but uh, I, I, can, I will show you now in the demo. Sentinel threat analytic incident management, threat analytic in the Sentinel, and my attack technique, and actually review resulting of the security incident. And, of course, uh, this is... Uh, uh, actually, uh, my uh, that is Azure portal. I previously uh, uh, have uh, some setting my environment. Uh, I can start with the Microsoft Sentinel, but I must have Microsoft uh, Azure subscription. If you don't have a subscription, you can sign up. The free account here and for example i can use uh, uh, in azure portal i top search bar and type here uh, sentinel and you can see uh, i have option now to create in the top left that is the first step how I add the Microsoft Sentinel to workspace. I zoom my 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 uh, definitely dashboard to to better see what what I doing, and uh, I can create new workspace based of my subscription. You can see resource group region. Uh, workspace name and everything and you can see here I, I click on uh, Azure Pass subscription I create for example new resource group in, in that propose uh, for example send the now uh, resource group based on my subscription and I define some some name for example, Sentinel uh, workspace. I choose the region that is East US, for example, and uh, just click here to review and create. Uh, uh, okay, I previously uh, used this this name and. Uh, I can choose different name, never mind. And uh, I running the final validation <coughs> and validation passed. And I, the first steps create, uh, create uh, uh, actually deployment to resource group, Sentinel Rose group in progress uh, in order to create log analytic workspace. Uh, actually, log analytic workspace uh, is basic management unit for Azure Monitor Logs. Uh, with Azure Monitor Logs, you can uh, uh, can easily store, retain, uh, 
uh, and uh, actually uh, query data collected from the monitor resources in uh, Azure and other environment for value of insight in log analytic workspace that is actually logical storage unit where uh, your log data is collected and stored. And actually, this is this is option, uh, and it's, this is the steps. You can see Microsoft Sentinel offers the 31 day uh, the free trial. And actually, uh, the next steps I I can add Microsoft Sentinel to workspace here. I click add, and deployment will begin. When it's complete in I think a minute or two. Uh, after that, you can see my settlement workspace is uh, ready to use. And you can see uh, Microsoft Sentinel trial option is uh, activated. You can see the all information about uh, my uh, your trial is active from the period of time you have 31 days remaining your free trial and you can use uh, 10 gigabyte per day that is the free for both Microsoft Sentinel actually and log analytic uh, and include quantity to be built uh, you can see the pricing detail and everything uh, in the in in that dashboard the second steps is how we uh, deploy the Microsoft Sentinel Training Lab solution. I can type here Sentinel Training, and I can in the Microsoft place go in the Microsoft Sentinel Training Lab solution here and click, and I can option to create this lab solution. It is currently in public preview. You can see this feature is amazing and provide uh, without the service level agreement it now is, is not recommended for production, but you can very, very good for ex exercise when we deal with the parsers, workbooks, analytic rule, hunting query, playbooks, how to investigate the incident. Uh, and you can, you can use here all information regarding that uh, and i can uh, just click here in, in order to create and i linked uh, uh, to my previously defined resource groups based on my subscription and i click uh, on my sentinel workspace they also previously deploy uh, created and deployed and uh, that is currently you can uh, see on this uh, uh, dashboard in public preview this feature is uh, definitely uh, very very useful in workbooks i uh, define uh, actually for data monitoring analysis and creation some visual report with azure portal i can define the display name analytics for example signing for ip signing or disable account uh, i can investigate uh, with analytics, malicious in the inbox rule, uh, network beacon, and uh, based of indicator indicator of compromise, and with the playbooks, I can define some geo from IP and tag incident. Uh, this playbox will take for the some IP address and entities from the incident and query on the geo IP API to geolocate some. IP address and click actually uh, for review create uh, and uh, based of my customization I can create uh, for my uh, once validation is okay of course I can create <coughs> uh, and you can note some deployment process takes about the 15 minutes and you can see that is the part because uh, we want to make sure all English data is ready for our uh, lab solution when we finished uh, and uh, once the deployment is finished you can go back in the Microsoft Sentinel and select your workspace uh, uh, definitely uh, that is that is the next steps 
And but I previously defined uh, because that is takes some time. Uh, in my resource group, you can see I have actually two uh, with a different subscription. I, I defined my Sentinel resource group and I can, uh, in the next steps, uh, configure some playbox, which will be used, uh, for example, uh, later. Uh, we are going to allow some playbox to access Sentinel and I navigate on my resource group. You can see on this slide and after that in resource group, I should see uh, API connection here. I can click from my API connection. It's called Azure Sentinel set geo from IP and tag incident. And after that, I can uh, uh, click for the um, edit API connection. That is the next steps, how we understand. Click in authorize and new window here based on my display name. I can connect with my actually uh, account, Microsoft account. That is, uh, uh, that is the next steps. Uh, and I'm now with my account uh, editing and authorized successfully edit some API connection. That is very important steps when we talking about how we understand in order to configure some Microsoft uh, Sentinel uh, playbooks. In the next step, uh, I can go, for example, to enable some uh, uh, data connector and uh, uh, Actually, my uh, user account must be uh, uh, have some less reader permission to any subscription. I uh, you can, for example, use to, in order to enforce log from Azure Management Plan activity and everything in that way. I can open Sentinel instance uh, and type Sentinel, uh, for example, here or. Uh, I can go uh, just type Sentinel, for example, and I can uh, open my my Sentinel. And after that, I can go in Contents Hub here. That is the next steps. Uh, uh, and you can see now, uh, search some, for example, Azure Activity Context Solution from, because my idea now to enable the Azure Activity Connector uh, I open Content Hub and I can click Install Update here when I uh, when I found my Azure Activity, for example, or, or, or just install, click here, and I can install uh, my the first connector. When deployment is complete, I can select Data Connector and Configure section to workspace. It takes some time, but uh, Azure Activity Solution enable to ingest some uh, Azure activity for administration, for security, for service hold, for alert, uh, and the different, different option. And I uh, install now my, my connector. And I can click, uh, for example, in data connector now, I can click my uh, Azure activity. That is my the first uh, uh, connector uh, and, for example, open connector page. Uh, on Azure activity connector page, I scroll down to some configuration instruction and everything. And uh, the next step is to launch some uh, uh, Azure uh, policy assignment wizard. Uh, that is the next steps because uh, I'm, I must here define the scope. Uh, I can select my uh, subscription. I can choose my, uh, that is, uh, I can choose my Sentinel resource group here. And uh, I can define the optional uh, resources to exclude from policy assignment. And I define, uh, define my uh, policy. Uh, 
uh, I can go, for example, in parameter tab to define primary log analytic workspace uh, because I definitely pre uh, previously defined and the remediation, I can create remediation tasks to enable uh, non-compliance resource and everything. Uh, uh, definitely, I can use uh, different, different option in that propose. And uh, I can go in my uh, review create and create policy assignment uh, remediation tracks is also succeed role assignment creation is also succeed and uh, actually I can go back now in content hub here to view my uh, Azure activity feature for example uh, and I can manage I can manage uh, from the manage view context on different solution now with analytic with glue rule data connector and everything uh, also in other example for example i can enable different uh, different connector uh, in contents hub uh, i can open again in my central workspace and click content hub and I can search in Defender option and found uh, the Microsoft Defender for cloud and uh, after that I can click for install this this data connector that is very important solution for Sentinel to all of you to in a security alerts reporting in Microsoft Defender for cloud or accessing the hybrid cloud workload my security posture and actually, uh, after deployment is finished, uh, I can also, like the previous task, I can go in the Manage button uh, in the bottom right here and see uh, all information about, about this, this type of connector, my analytic rule and action uh, uh, in, in open connector page. I have uh, actually uh, installed, can install different uh, type of connector like uh, actually, uh, for example, Microsoft Defender Threat and Intelligence option or enable threat intelligence data connector, different connector. Uh, and that is that is very, very important part. And I can also show how to enable, for example, analytic rules. That is a very, very important part. And I mentioned during my presentation and in my Sentinel instance here, I can go actually in, uh, in analytic option here. That is a tab uh, you can uh, tab uh, uh, after uh, data connector uh, in configuration option. And actually I can click uh, some rule templates here uh, are installed here for the Pontus Hub solution. I can create active rule based on this template and I can add some filter, for example, uh, the, uh, for the source name and I can find my uh, Azure activity preview previously installed this type of connector and apply and definitely uh, uh, find the click some uh, template for uh, suspicious uh, suspicious source resource deployment here uh, you can in also have in active rule but uh, th that is that is uh, interesting. Uh, I, I I can use uh, a different t template uh, in in my rule rule, rule template and activity as uh, define the hybrid uh, and 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 everything related related uh, uh, and I can view some severity uh, specific uh, option with my with my uh, uh, this uh, and uh, and actually for example severity is a log content hub 
what is the schedule and everything. Uh, and uh, actually, I can uh, in uh, uh, option to create, I can create some scheduling query rule in my analytics with with uh, uh, different options. I can define the rule uh, the rule name, uh, for example, some suspicious uh, resources deployment. Uh, and uh, with some with some uh, description uh, uh, sovereignty I can define here uh, with the scheduling rule for example, that is a law in, tax, in tactic and techniques, I can define uh, option uh, for my for my analytic rule that we run for all data for for uh, detect uh, uh, incident, uh, for example, for execution for privilege escalation for persistence and everything. Uh, and after that, I can set my rule logic. Uh, I, I can use uh, some query across. Uh, uh, I can generate my, my analytic uh, rule with my scheduling rule uh, and actually test with, with, some, with some current data. Uh, I can run here entity mapping. I can uh, uh, see query scheduling for my run query every, for example, five hours, so looking data from the last and everything. And uh, with the incident option, I can go uh, to see uh, uh, alerts that we group together into incidents uh, in automatic response option. I can uh, use some rule to review and create and just click to uh, to 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 review create okay I previously defined some uh, uh, rule logic for for, for this uh, operation uh, I can use previously defined some rule template but I, I my my aim is only show how how uh, working with uh, with uh, actually this this option because in general I previously defined some here suspicious rule resource room template basic uh, base of my of my uh, name and I can investigate some anomaly activity and everything related to my my incident. Uh, how we enable cre incident creation Microsoft rule, for example, I can go, for example, in option, I can enter Defender Pro Cloud uh, here and uh, for some uh, actually medium and high alerts. And with the description, I can go, for example, that is also how we deal with the medium and high alerts. Uh, the status is enabled, and in the filter by severity, I can uh, choose uh, my, my option for the Microsoft Defender for Cloud in, in, in security service, and uh, I can use uh, different type of uh, severity in the custom options like for example, medium or high. Uh, and in, in automatic response, uh, uh, for example, uh, that is a page you can uh, actually attach automatization rule and everything. Uh, and uh, you can assist with your security operation center team with some task incident enrichment, security remediation, and I can go in the review, create, and uh, and say uh, my 
uh, alert rule. Uh, I can define defined different type of role. I can define, for example, some custom role for my anal analytics. Uh, uh, for example, that is also very good option. Uh, I can go in my uh, Sentinel logs here. And uh, I can define some query for that propose, uh, for example, office activity. And uh, I can found in my, in my uh, for example, new inbox through some, uh, some interesting, uh, interesting information regarding my operation and everything. But I can go now in uh, analytic and create some new custom rule, scheduling query rule. And uh, I can de define some uh, rule like malicious inbox, for example, and uh, uh, some, some description using uh, mailbox and everything. Uh, and uh, on the tactic, I can choose here some activity like persistence or defense uh, dif different uh, defensive evasion but I can use different option for my tactics and, and I can choose medium option for my severity uh, and set to my rule logic and I can previously define because we don't have uh, many times for this presentation I prepare my rule for inbox rule with the query language and i can test uh, my role with with current data uh, i i can ex expand and identity ma mapping i can uh, define my entity with my account with my for example a full name and uh, here for my user id option with my uh, for example host and full name uh, here and the original uh, server ip here address and client ip client ip address and uh, i can add customized through uh, definitely with, with, with different option uh, and that is that is very very good uh, in incident settings i can define a group together in the incidents alerts and everything uh, in automatic response i can view all information about rule and just click review and create and save my custom custom rule that is that is very very powerful and very good option and uh, the finally uh, uh, I can uh, use uh, uh, different different options uh, for review security incidents about uh, some uh, uh, malicious uh, activity, for example, and uh, that is that is very good uh, to view uh, in in uh, incident action. But uh, I can find the incident. Uh, I can, for example, here select the threat management incident and review incident page. And you can see malicious rule. And I can view the full de details about, about this, this, for example, incident. Huh, this is uh, entity Samadel uh, at Contoso.on Microsoft com account. It is, it is interesting and I can, for example, now go in link to, link to my events and view all the information about, about the, this, this incident. For example, here in result, when I go, uh, that, that is uh, some account 
uh, with with uh, inbound rule and user ID here. I I reveal all all this uh, this incident task and uh, uh, incident uh, option, and I can investigate. I mentioned in, in presentation, I can investigate this uh, in with the video graph investigation graph. It is very power, powerful option when we when we actual view all information about malicious in one role and and uh, everything uh, regarding uh, the incident i can go back here for example for sign in from ip address and i can go uh, for for example ip address investigation and sign in huh i have some uh, ip address here 175.45 for 176.99. I can link for this IP address and investigate all about this this uh, incident here when I go in option that is actually disable account set from from this account. It's very very interesting. I can view uh all information about about this uh, ip ip address and everything you have actually a lot of option how to identify uh, uh incident uh, with amazing amazing tool and i can conduct different action i can run for example here play box for this incident and I can found the tag of, of this incident activity and everything rela relating uh, uh, this this IP address. I can run trigger option and everything. And uh, actually, that is uh, that is uh, I I previously uh, mentioned very powerful uh, option uh, when we deal with. Uh, incident management uh, i can uh, actually investigate a lot of lot of type uh, of incident i can link here uh, with link option and found uh, found all all information i can use other play playbooks for that purpose and everything relating investigation uh, incident uh, and everything i can use uh, uh also for example uh, uh workbooks here for incident in investigation that is also very powerful option because i mentioned here in, in my presentation and i can use investigation inside uh, for this option to to view uh, all information about uh, and of course different different template but uh, uh, i i can use uh, this template for for customization and everything in, in order to find all information uh, about uh, about uh, i can add new workbooks for example and everything uh, regarding different uh, different type of uh, incident and when i go for example for incident option again i can find some solo solo gate network activity uh, here and uh, i can uh, assign i am actually owner my account is the owner to to investigate this this incident and i can apply when i sign this incident I can go uh, for the incident option and uh, show the full option regarding the, this incident uh, and regarding uh, in incident uh, investigation. And I, I found here uh, a lot of a lot of useful 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 information about entities, uh, IP address, and uh, everything, uh, command and control action and uh, what is actually remediation steps here i can run playbooks for for this and uh, actually 
uh, have uh, all the information about this. And I can uh, run playbook for, for, for example, IP address. Uh, I can, uh, for the domain name, name system and everything, and I, I can find a lot of, lot of useful information regarding this, this uh, type of incident. Uh, of course, uh, I can hunting here with, with uh, this option uh, and uh, query tabs, different query tabs, uh, and uh, actually I can uh, found uh, some uh, attack using uh, using this option, and after that I can define different query uh, in uh, in query option. Here I can, for example. Uh, uh, find the previous incident. So create inventory check here, and uh, I can find actual result of this uh, this incident. Uh, I can uh, run this query. In, query is now is is in execution, and uh, uh, in result, for example, I can define all of this. Uh, option regarding uh, the incident. I can add multiple playbook, for example, that is very, very useful. Uh, threat intelligence with the indicator of compromise, it's very, it's very good option uh, of uh, many, many new indicator. I can define the types with, the, for example, IP address. Uh, uh, I can find my previously uh, IP address here with, for example, uh, I give some IP address. What I previously found to investigate, and the uh, description is, for example, some malicious activity. I can associate it uh, with. Uh, uh, some campaign in description, but name is, uh, for example, some IP I can define some confidence here and valid from the some period of time, for example, until uh, valid from, I don't know, maybe December, by December, and uh, until, until the period of time, I can define here some period of time, for example, here, the 10th January, this year. With my account, of course, uh, I created my, my account and I can apply and I can hand over the incident in comments and found uh, different uh, options for about, about the model of hunting and everything for it. But when I go in the hunting, I can go uh, with a different option with, 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 for example, query I mentioned before, and uh, I can define different uh, attributes when I found a filter about techniques. Uh, I can select all techniques here uh, and uh, I investigate some incident in the last 24 hours uh, and I run all query uh, and I can after that define watch list and everything uh, related to uh, this, uh, this incident and uh, everything. Add some bookmark, promoting book, book, bookmark for investigation. I can deal with, with, with watch list in uh, here in uh, actually uh, after analytic tab in configuration option 
that is uh, that is very 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 good and uh, uh, for example receive some message from security operation center manager inform me about uh, some penetration text exercises being performed over uh, the weeks and i can use uh, my watch list wizards to enter some source i can create here source with, with the name pen test ip address for example uh, and uh, ip address during uh, penetration test uh, uh, i can define some some alias uh, uh, alias name uh, here uh, uh, pen test ip address for example and after that i can go in my sources and uh, actually uh, define some uh, file i previously defined in uh, file and download with my ip address that is actually excel file i bronze in my in my uh, local machine and click here <clears throat> actually uh, and upload this this file and uh, i can define an ip address here and review and create option and click and create and finish my wizard regarding regarding uh, watch list and i can define now in analytics temp some different template and the rule wizards and everything regarding uh, and use of course that intelligence option uh, for for different data connector and everything regarding uh, uh incident management handling okay i think that is uh, that is actually uh, time for my presentation uh, and uh, i can combine my actually theoretic uh, approach of my presentation and demo lab and training lab and show you a lot of option regarding how we work with the uh, uh, Microsoft Center regarding incident investigation. Thank you for your for your time, and see you on my next session. Uh, for Azure Back to School, that is how we forensic investigate uh, incident in Microsoft uh, Microsoft Azure. Thank you. Bye.